Natalie, thanks for your question. Uh, we definitely need a picture for this problem, so let me go ahead and show you what I've done. We are dealing with a unit circle in the first quadrant, so I just sketch the unit circle in the first quadrant, like so. Uh, the unit circle has a radius of 1, which is why I have a 1 and a 1 here, to denote that I'm going out 1 anywhere I extend from the origin to that circle. The next thing they want us to do is to mark the origin as point O, and then they would like us to go up 30 degrees on our circle from the x-axis and mark that as point P. So as you can see here, I've gone up 30 degrees. Here's point P. Then they want us to drop down and form an angle of 90 degrees with the x-axis, and we're going to call that point B. So we have three points that we're dealing with, O, P, and B. And then they would like us to find the magnitude of O, B, and then the magnitude of O, P. And by magnitude, I mean the length of the line segments. So using a little bit of trigonometry, I know that cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse, and sine is opposite over hypotenuse. Well, it turns out my hypotenuse in this case is just the radius, so that's going to have a magnitude of 1. So cosine of 30 degrees is going to be the adjacent length, so the magnitude of OB over the hypotenuse, which is just 1. The sine of 30 degrees is going to be the magnitude of the opposite side, so PB, over the hypotenuse, which is just 1. Simplifying here, I know that cosine of 30 degrees is equal to rad 3 over 2. So that means the magnitude of OB is also rad 3 over 2. Sine of 30 degrees, which is the magnitude of PB, is 1 half. So those are the lengths of those line segments. Then they would like us to take the point P and state what the X and uh, Y coordinates are. So there's a little formula in trigonometry. Um, it's helpful to memorize. I'll go ahead and write it down for you. If you want the X coordinate of something, you just take the radius and you multiply by cosine theta. If you want the y-coordinate of something, you just take the radius and you multiply by sine theta. Cosine is just a fancy way to say your x-coordinate. Y is just a fancy, or sine is just a fancy way to say your y-coordinate. So, putting that into action, I know that my x-coordinate is really just my radius times cosine theta. And theta, in this case, is 30 degrees. So, it's 1 times rad 3 over 2, which of course is just rad 3 over 2. y is the radius times the sine of theta, or the sine of 30 degrees, which is just 1 half in this case. So these are your answers uh, for your question. Thanks again for your question, Natalie, and I look forward to answering more of your questions using SnapMath in the future.